Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Tuesday, the 21st of May, 2024. Mike Smith, St. Analyst at Go Markets. To lead you around what's happening in markets today, let's have a look at what's come across the news. Of course, we saw a mixed session overnight for US equities. The Nasdaq, on the back of a strong NVIDIA move, hit new highs, whilst the Dow suffered a little bit from news that Jamie Dimon, the JP Morgan CEO, may be closer to retirement than originally thought. Uh, that dragged the whole of the Dow down towards the back end of the session. It was an interesting move on the back of that news. US futures are fairly flat in early Asian trading. Asian equity markets are generally lower. ASX is down around 0.2% with European futures pointing also to a cautious open this afternoon. We saw some strength in the USD after last week's selling. It bounced a little off the 200 MA. We saw a follow through in early Asian trading. Be interesting to see what transpires throughout the course of the day. Uh, gold posted a record high close, although because of that USD strength paired some of the earlier gains in the day. It is neutral in Asia so far today. Uh, copper also hit record highs, but slightly softer in Asia. And all is lower again, but still trading around that 200 EMA. One of the big movers of the day yesterday was Bitcoin breach resistance that we've been talking about for some considerable time now and surged up to 70,000. This is in range of a record high and we're seeing further strength in Asia. Be interesting to see whether it gets up and tests that 73,000 level. Very little data for the market to digest today. We've had the RBA minutes out already. Canadian CPI and Eurozone trade balance numbers are also due later. We've got some Fed member speeches as well overnight. But bear in mind, tomorrow's FOMC minutes from the latest rate decision meeting is noteworthy and may have the potential to move markets. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, some interesting price action on the US yen this morning. We'll look at the 30-minute chart. You can see we've already breached yesterday's highs and we're moving up to test this R1 pivot at around about 156.52 with the potential 30 pip move up in the first instance. If we pop, pop this on a four hourly chart, you can see the significance of these levels. I wouldn't be surprised to see this move over R2 and possibly even towards 157. Uh, so that would represent around about a 50 pip move should that happen. On the ASX, Next DC Limited is looking interesting. We had this fairly major pullback uh, through March, but since uh, the beginning of May, we've had this move back up to a key level. At resistance of around about $18. This represents, as we can see, an all time high on this stock and fundamentally strong earnings have come in well. Uh, so, wouldn't be surprised to see this up to $20 in the medium term. Worthwhile being patient, of course, to make sure it has breached $18. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.